Hey guys. Okay, so uh, I've been testing this. Uh, let's see, this 4S Active Balancer, uh, the non Helltech branded one. I think they're all the same. Uh, basically, the same circuit. This one is working uh, great. Uh, it's been keeping this pack balanced, and I've been able to increase the voltage a little bit up to. Um, Let's see, about 3.525 per cell, so roughly about 14.10 volts, and um, <clears throat> it's really keeping keeping these cells. You know, like one of them's when you get your your lithium iron phosphates when you start to get in that steep charge curve, one of them will want to kind of take off. You know, and uh, leave the others behind. This thing has really um, uh, been doing a good job at keeping it balanced. And as we can see, we've got um, 100 milliamps coming out of that, or balance from that cell. We got uh, 1 point, 1 1.1, almost 1.2 amps transferring from that one. We got uh, two, 250, 260 milliamps transferring from that one. Uh, that's our biggest one. We got 1.8, almost two amps transferring from that cell. And uh, 540 milliamps there. Let me do a voltage reading and see where the cells are. Yeah, at uh, 3.49 there, that's in a great charging range. Uh, 3. Uh, okay, 3.66, so that's a tad over what we want. Uh, 3.44 there, that's in a good charging range. 3.45 there, that's in a good charging range. So this one right here is telling me, yeah, 3.367. It's telling me I'm going to have to probably lower the voltage from 14.10, uh, you know, to maybe 14.05 or just 14. So we're going slightly over, and this is the one that's transferring the most out, as you, as we saw early, uh, just a minute ago, it was transferring uh, over two amps. Uh, so it's the, it's trying. This cell's trying to kind of take off, and uh, the balancer is really sucking a lot of power out of it as much as it can to, to keep it from happening. So I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna lower the, the charge voltage down just a little bit. And uh, that should keep this one from going over. So right now we're kinda over that 3.65 range that we want. It's not doing any damage at, at the moment, but you don't want this, uh, you know, you don't want it to be 3.7 or anything like that all the time. So I'll, I'm gonna change that, I'll lower it down a little bit. But this thing is uh, doing a much better I'm actually getting it to where it can uh, charge the pack better. Uh, this is uh, this thing has been running uh, more hours because of the the balancer. So um, again, uh, I, I'm a, I'm a I'm a solid fan of the balancers, the active balancers, um, especially when you're dealing with with batteries. That just aren't matched internal resistance. They're they're just not matched um, in capacity, uh, which is a lot of the batteries that we get. A lot of the batteries that we get, the DIY crowd, we're not matching these batteries. We're we're buying, you know, uh, four, eight, or sixteen cells from a company, and and they're not going to they're not going to come matched unless you probably pay some kind of price premium for that to happen. So that's where these uh, active balancers, uh, you know, really shine. Anyways, I'll see you next video.